We uh, had a Facebook lead that we um, closed and uh, got under contract uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Um, it's a cash deal. Uh, they, we gave them two options. We gave them a terms option and a cash option, which was, you know, significantly less money and they went mm -hmm. with cash option. So that, you know, lights a fire under our butts a little bit to, to yeah. find the money to buy this thing. However, it's, I think it's a great deal. So, um, this is a one acre parcel, three miles outside of a kind of a quickly growing city. That's, um, a suburb of Salem. So where we're at, so it's, it's a, it's a city that's smaller than Salem, but it's growing really fast. So, mm -hmm. um, this is, uh, right outside of town. It's on an acre, which is desirable. Um, yeah. it's on a, uh, it's on a dead end road that has, um, this is the worst house on, in a row of pretty good houses. Some yeah. are manufactured homes and the one right next to it's probably an $800,000 custom. So really pretty. Nice. So what we've got is a 1977. So if you guys want it, let me know. Manufacturing what, a home. mobile home? Oh yeah, buddy. Oh man, roll that down to my neck of the woods. That'd fit right <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. We got a 77 <laughs> home at mobile home, and uh, so, and it, we haven't gotten to see inside this thing yet because there's still some tenants in there for a few more days. Um, but uh, <laughs> I would guess it's probably just trash. It's probably. Mm not worth fixing up and selling, but I don't know yet. So my question is, we're in this, our, our, uh, our purchase price 147 on this property. Um, there's a house that just sold last week. That's a manufactured home. Decline. We can still hear you. There you okay. are. Okay, good. There, there we go. <laughs> just so you know, we can still hear you guys. <laughs> Yeah. So, As he's breathing the F word. <laughs> yeah. so. All right. We have a five second delay. Blair's got Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he you knows the guy. <laughs> I, I don't know these phones, man. Anyway, so we've got this. We've got a property. Um, there's one right around the corner that just sold a week ago for 410 that had a manufactured home on it, but it's a custom. It's a really nice manufactured home, all customized. It has a shop. It has an acre and a half. So it's a, it's a better property, obviously. Um, but uh, my question is, should we yank this garbage mobile home off of there and put, spend the money and buy a new mobile home or a, or a prefab home and put it on there and get three, you know, 50 to 375? Or, or should build we custom home. build like an Adair or a Highline, like one of these prefab homes? you know, for a hundred bucks a foot and be in the thing 300 and sell it for 400, you know, so there's a hundred grand profit, I think, no matter how we slice it. Um, my opinion is or to wholesale it <laughs> and not deal with any of that. Yeah. I don't Jeff, know. What does Jeff think? That's what I, yeah. I want to know. What would Jeff do? I think you bought yourself a piece of dirt for 137,000. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's less than the value of the piece of dirt because you've got to haul the garbage that's, you know, now occupied by people, that piece of garbage off of Right. That. Yeah. So, and nobody ever buys open ground for cash. So that's, right. that would be strike number one. Okay. Um, you're in a neighborhood of homes and you don't have a home. That's strike two. Um, strike three is going to be too much financial risk to, to spend 300 cash to make a hundred thousand dollars in my okay opinion. okay because we we do it blair does he throws them out he's got a garbage can full of hundred thousand dollar deals we don't have time to do mm. so why would you <laughs> he thinks i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> go look at that garbage. I, I i think sometimes people don't know if you're joking or not though that's all <laughs> well, that's what i'm, I'm laughing i'm probably joking. yeah okay all right um, all right but seriously it is not that hard to find hundred thousand dollar deals that aren't going to put you at risk okay but what but what should they do with this one can't they just slap a manufactured home on this thing that's not hard is it well it, but you're going to have to first of all you have to close on the open ground that's not refinanceable that's got to be out of somebody's pocket or you got to get private money because dirt is not, people don't want to finance that, right? So, well, we don't know the condition of the mobile home. So the mobile home, from what I understand, 76 
and older is not financeable. So it's yeah, right on the cusp of being financeable if we were to go in and fix it up. You, they're, they're not, they don't, yeah, in terms of a new one, they're not going to refinance an old one. You're not going to get, you won't be able to borrow against that at all. So this is a cash transaction for you. Okay. You're risking three, 200, 300, whatever the number is of your own money with right. the possibility of getting all of it back in cash. I think it's a risky proposition. Okay. So you think we should try to wholesale it? Yeah, if you got it under contract, I'd try and wholesale it. And if you can't find a buyer for it, another, you know, somebody else who wants to pay cash for a piece of dirt. Right. Um, then get out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's in a pretty desirable area. I can imagine somebody would probably want to build a house there. Well, then you should be able to sell it pretty quickly. Wholesale it pretty quickly. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what kind of activity. We'll, we'll do some marketing on it. I've got enough time. Yeah. We'll do some marketing on it. And... Um, We'll see if we can. Uh, we'll see if we can find somebody to just take it. And, and yeah, I like the idea of making a little bit and not doing very much work, versus putting out a whole bunch of money to make. You know, are all the city yeah. utilities to the property? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not city utilities. Well, this is in county, it, so it it's a, it it's on a well. well and a septic. Okay, so no, the answer is no. You're not. And are there curbs and gutters around there? Other places. No. This is, no. it's all rural. There's it's everybody's rural. On, it's yeah. like two on miles out of town. And septic yeah. out there? Yes. Yeah. You see, that's, when you buy that kind of stuff, that's also something you got to check. When you're buying a piece of open ground, you're going to have to, somebody's going to have to go check that well and see what's going on, how deep it is, what the water contamination levels. In California, it's required. I'm, I'm assuming Oregon, if you buy it, you'll have to pay to have that inspection. It's not cheap. Have to yeah, we will have to do that. Everything else. Um, and then the, you know, the sewer, depending on whether it's a tank, leach field or whatever, um, you know, that's going to have to be inspected and all that. So mm -hmm. it, I, I just would stay away from, I, you know, take it as a, a flyer. If you can get it under contract and get yourself 90 days to get it closed and try and flip it to somebody else. Other than that, it's a very risky proposition because it's going to be all your cash and it's all on the bet. It's all on the line. Got it. Okay. So if they, if they say, if, if, if for some reason we can't do the deal and we go back to them and be like, look, we can't, we can't do this as a cash deal. Would you do it if it was, if it was owner financing, if it was a terms deal? Uh, that would change it a lot. If they yeah. carry the contract. So maybe yeah. we shouldn't have, maybe our, our strategy with this should not have been giving them, giving them a cash offer. Um, maybe our strategy should have been only to give them the option because they were going to carry it. And then they just decided, you know what, we've had such a nightmare with the tenants. We don't even want to deal with the property anymore. We just want to cash out. So they right. decided at the last moment. We thought originally when we were talking with them that they were going to carry it. So would that, would your, would you feel differently about it if, if we changed our strategy? Well, no. I mean, if you could get it for the same kind of price, uh, but have them carry it or slightly more, but you know. Yeah, it was just it? slightly more. Yeah. I, yes, that would change my, because you're not putting out your own cash then. Right. Um, your, your risk at that point would be whatever you, and I would not build on it unless you're really sure of the market. Is this, you know, entry level market, then you, it's safer bet. Right. Um, if it's, if this is a mid market or it's very, it's rural, um, that makes it more risky, less likely okay. to do it. Uh, I would tend to want to bring in a trailer. Um, what you could do is you could go, now we teach you some Mavericks, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you can go to uh, a lot of these outfits and you can get a, a home in there on some type of a lease, long-term lease, uh, like a lease option mm -hmm. from some of these local dealers. And they'll put one of their trailers out there. And, you know, it's, it's kind of a risk-free thing from your standpoint. You agree to keep it for a year or two. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a chance for you to sell the whole thing and make more money that way and reduce your risk. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I also, I know a guy here that, um, that, uh, mm -hmm. sells modular homes mm -hmm. and they're, they're like a prefab. They're, they're kind of, they're not a manufactured home, but they are, but they're comped more like a stick built home. And he's a real sharp guy. They're putting up like hundreds of these things a year around here. And uh, he's a friend of mine and he said, Hey, let me. You know, let me take a look at what you got out there before you make a decision and see if this might be a good solution for you. Yeah, check that out. See what he knows. You know, maybe he can help you do it. But 
if you can reduce the amount of cash or cash risk, which is signing on the bottom line for a loan, if you can reduce those two things or eliminate them, then yeah, it makes it, it's a whole different thing, but you said cash. So, you know, went on what you said, it's not fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's where we're at yeah, right now. Yeah, I wish now, we would so. have had that conversation to begin with because I, know I I I think I would have just struck that from a you know as an option. I would have just been like, this is well, this is what we can do, take it or leave it. And I don't, I think they probably would have ran with it because it they didn't have another option. Right. Well, you know, a lot of times what you can do, is, and you're going to get it now. You're going to get a second bite at the apple. You've already got them fixed on the sale. Is you know it's a done deal. They think once right. you sign, it's a done deal. And the price is 137 and you can go do them with the bad news, good news combo. Bad news is we can still buy it and we can still buy it. You know, uh, we're not going to be able to, to um, pay cash for it. But the good news is we can still buy it. We can still buy it at that price. And, uh, you know, you'll get cash, but it won't be immediate. It'll be, you know, within a year or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, that's you'll, what you'll have a chance to get the lower cash price with the better terms of seller finance. Mm -hmm. Right. Would you, yeah. if, would you ever, let's just say, um, let's say they wanted 1200 bucks a month, or let's say they wanted 1500 or, you know, or 18 or two grand a month. Like they wanted too much money per month to carry the paper for a year, but it was principal only. Would you still, would you consider doing that? Um, if you're going to end up buying it, I mean, actual buy, not an option or something like that, then yeah. It's okay. You down principal. You consider overpaying monthly to get the, to get a chance to have terms for a year or a year and a half. Yeah. Especially okay. if it all goes. If, to it's principal. Only, if it's principal only. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that would be fair because listen, I'm only going to have it out a year. Give yourself probably 18 months. If you're going to get involved with some kind of project because you just don't know what's involved down there. You don't know what permits. I mean, when you mm -hmm. swap out one unit for another, is there an occupancy, a zoning? I mean, maybe it's not zoned for manufactured, but it is zoned for mobile. Mm -hmm. You know, new regulations. I mean, I don't, you, there's so many things that you got to go through when you do a deal like that. That's why most developers would rather develop, you know, an 87 house project than a two house project. Because mm -hmm. same amount of work and you can divide your cost over a larger number of houses. You're going to have to do all that work for this one deal. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're still, um, hey, you got that bleeper? Because I might say a swear word. We're still <laughs> kill whores, if you will. We'll take anything. Like, we'll look at anything, you know. We don't have that round file with $100,000 deals sitting in it. Yeah. You know, like Blair. <laughs> and so, uh <laughs> So, but this is how we learn. So thank you. This is a great way for us and everybody else on the call to learn, like, you know, is by maybe, maybe making a mistake on, on a purchase and sale and going back and having to figure it out. Yeah, that's okay. And it's not a mistake until it's a done deal. So, you know, it's not a win and it's not a, it's not a horrible thing until you end up writing a check or getting a check. So yeah. far you haven't written a check, so you're safe. Yeah. Right. For sure. Okay, great. Well, that's all we got for now. I really appreciate that. That was like, yeah, that's really helpful. You, you should wear a Superman cape because you saved us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll remember that. All right. <laughs> yeah. Remember that. Remember that. We'll, yeah. send, we'll send you the bill. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>